Exciting NBA basketball game. This is Kevin Harlan alongside Brett Berry and Greg Anthony. We've got David Aldridge reporting from the sideline. We've got an Eastern Conference battle ready to get rolling. The crowd wants some love from their Knicks. They just couldn't come out on top last time they took on the Nets. That one was played in Brooklyn. Well, they couldn't buy a bucket at times, and that's frustrating. And that game was not their friend. Now, the AC seemed to be cranked up in that one. It was chilly in the arena that night, at least on that end of the floor. Just cold shooting all the way around. A shot's good from Irving. And KD keeping his head up that time, becoming a playmaker. And Kyrie Irving, a Picasso with the ball in his hands. And like a lot of genius level creators, he marches to the beat of his own drum. And, and getting the offense started with a high quality look down low. Outside, KD. Castro Neal. And he could not get that one to go. Out of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. It's on JaVale McGee. <laughs> You know, Greg, Kyrie sometimes is just a tough guy to figure out. And the danger is pulling too much in your own direction. He, even he confessed regrets about in Cleveland withdrawing from teammates and isolating himself. All part of growth. That one is off. Wow. Well, what, did he have something in his eye on that shot? <laughs> Maybe. So he can't get either to fall. That's a, a strange trip because typically he's pretty much money from there. Now here's Fournier. His shot is good, making him a perfect two for two from the floor. And the footwork from Fournier was really nice there. Takes a step back. Here's Irving. No good off the back of the rim. Not sure what, what the D was doing there. Clearly a breakdown. You can ill afford to give a guy like him that good a look. Now here's Hardaway. Taking a look at the scoring numbers right now, we average is about nine points a game. Outside for Randall. Drills it from outside. Well, Randall keeping you honest here. Not a knockdown shooter. He's showing more and more that he's capable of doing just so. And the Nets decide to take their first time out here.
the first quarter of action two minutes in outside Irving to stop the run and that one is good Irving's got his second bucket of the night Kyrie making that look effortless that shot is so well within his comfort zone Randall down low rebounded by the Nets and now the latest from our reporter David Alder well Tom Thibodeau had a few minutes to share he's looking to even the season series with a win tonight he told me he knows his team can play better than they did the last time and he thinks with the strong defense and shot blocking they can make things difficult at that end of the floor we'll see if they can impose their will tonight Kevin back to you Appreciate it, D.A. They'll be trying to lock it down defensively. Guys, what do you think? If you want to avoid a run-and-gun type of situation, this is the approach you need to take. Now, slowing the pace is easier said than done. How will they go about it? Pass to Barrett. And it's Royce O'Neal with the foul. That's his first foul. Now about three minutes gone in the first quarter. Outside Fournier. Jacks up a three. Yeah, the hustle from Simmons on the... It, it becomes infectious. Though. He brings his all on every possession. Working his way for a high percentage look. That's just smart basketball. And that's a, a painted possession right there. A masterpiece, especially when the defense is not a factor. Now, here's one. He's making his presence felt offensively with his scoring average up there at almost 13 points a game. Here is Durant. Fuck, man. Come on, man. Two free throws coming up. Great Ben Simmons, one of four players in the entire history of the NBA to average at least seven rebounds and seven assists per game through his first four seasons. Think about it, joining Magic Johnson, Oscar Robinson, and Luka Doncic. That is some pretty elite-level company. Pass to Fournier. Down to five on the shot clock. It's hauled in by Warren. Next trip by four. It's Durant on the wing. There's a screen. The kick out to Irving. Shoots over Fournier. The offensive rebound. A second chance effort. Got him with the pump fake, but couldn't finish. And Barrett has got the ball here for the Knicks. Outside Fournier. Shoots the three. Hands with the ball out of bounds. Fournier last touched it. And the Nets with possession here. Trailing by four. Outside Irving. The three. Good on the triple. Irving's got seven points. Consistent three-point shooter, a clutch three-point shooter. Kyrie has to be guarded out there at all times. Pass to Toppin. Now, here's Barrett. And he makes good on the layup. Well, Toppin trying to gain his confidence by sharing the ball. He gets an assist. Here's Durant. No good with the layup. New York leading by three. Outside Hardaway. Pass to Toppin. From the arc. That shot off the mark. And it's the Nets taking it the other way. The kick out to Irving. Can't tie it up as that one's no good. And the Knicks with possession. Here's Hardaway. Here's Barrett. 
He's making his presence felt offensively with his scoring average up there at almost 13 points a game. No one near Randall as he lets it go. From outside, off the mark. Outside, Warren. Irving for three. And again, no good by Brooklyn. Things are going south right now. This is not the type of shooting that his teammates expect from him. Come on. Fuck. Wide open, yo. You leave him fucking wide open, you idiot. Go, 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 go. That's another just bad decision on a night full of those. His shot selection tonight has been questionable at best. Now, here's Barrett. New York needs to get off a shot. Handle no good. They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Too many empty possessions right now. They need to basket. What are you guys doing, yo? Playing with a bunch of different stars throughout his career, Kyrie has learned to be effective without the ball in his hand. And so New York calls timeout. Go first. Both teams will make substitutions. quickly he averages a bit over six points a game it seems like Brent it's been a long time we've been asking would this be the year the Knicks turn it around I, I think Kevin though it's about not just turning it around it's a, about being a viable competitive potential deep run playoff team for many years in succession and is this the time I'm just not sure Here's Curry, following the score by Dylan Brooks. To the middle, here's Simmons. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. Julius Randle picks one up. And a good physical play there from Simmons. Not letting the foul stop him from getting that shot off. Second free throw, good. The Knicks with the lead. Now, quickly. Over in the corner, Reddish. And he drives in. And two free throws coming up. Unable to get that one to go with all the contact. I had a nicer minute somewhere.
daring the defenders that time as he got really aggressive. It's his first trip to the line. In their last contest, guys, he was unconscious from the foul line. Now a timeout called by Brooklyn. Free throw good from Reddish. Such a versatile forward that can defend and shoot and score. Reddish's game has future all-star written all over. And you can tell he's feeling confident right now at the line. And when he's on, he can be lights out. Out of bounds, New York takes possession. Now, I'm all for the crowd interacting with the players, but not so much the players interacting with the crowd. That one, errant pass. Here's quickly. Pass to Reddish. Now here's Randall, guarded by Harris. Handle no good. Well, if he's going to keep shooting, they've got to run some plays for him. Screens, pick and rolls, anything they can do to get him started. Out to KD. Curry on the wing. Six to shoot. Nets passing it around. A nice shot by KD. And that's where Kevin Durant's length really pays off on the inside. Hard to hold him back without fouling. And here is Quickly. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. It's up a three. A shot by Reddish. No good. And it's Harris with the ball for the Brooklyn Nets. They trail by one. Back to Durant. And never say never, but we might never see another player who combines the length and guard skills of Kevin Durant. He's a player who completely breaks the mold. Brooklyn shooting their seventh and eighth free throw attempts for the game right here. And they've had really good numbers all season from the free throw line. And when you think about Durant's singularity as a player, Steve Kerr said he's more gifted than Michael Jordan. Great, right, what do you think of that? Well, Steve's had a first hit. Come on, this, these niggas can't shoot today, bro. What the fuck? He didn't say greater, but more gifted. I think it's a conversation. Now Kerr. After the missed three from Cam Reddish. Pass to KD. Puts it up from 17. Count it. KD's got six. How do you guard that? Durant at his size, he shouldn't be able to do that with that little effort. And here's Brooks to the inside. And it's out of bounds to New York. They'll retain possession. There's a minute 47 left in the first. Five on the clock. Hits the three-point five. Brooks has got it all tied up now for the Knicks. Oh, spacing the floor. Brooks is comfortable shooting it from deep. A wide open look for Durant. Tried to come right back with a three of his own. It's no good. Inside, Durant with the steal. to the wing. O'Neal, that's a two-pointer. And good. 
as it just snugs right down through the net. Well, that's a needle in the haystack shot right there. You're not going to hit that one all that often. And they go to the intentional foul. Really no idea why you're fouling in a situation like that. You know, maybe there's some bad blood between those two. Now here's Brooks. Five points in the game. Master quickly. Barrett, wide open, he fires. And the three off target. And even without that three ball dropping for him, the defense should have done more on that last play. Here's Irving. It's rebounded by Quickly. If you told me this was the kind of game he was going to have, I would not have expected them to be in front right now. And it's Brooks in the corner. Another shot. And it's Barrett getting it to go. Well, the hustle from RJ on the offensive end was tremendous. Irving with the ball. Ten points for him. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. I don't know, man. This shit keeps switching me to the wrong fucking person. This is his first trip to the line tonight. Kyrie's such an unpredictable player in a lot of ways, but when he's on, there's few players in the league that can match up with his pure scoring ability. Oh, almost. What a performance for Kyrie Irving. He has been the story for the Nets. That quarter had to take a lot out of him. He racked up 12 points. And we'll be right back after this. And close game underway so far. We'll see if either of these teams can jump out in the second quarter. All right, we'll take a look now at how the points have been generated so far. A scoring breakdown for the Nets. They haven't been afraid of getting hit on the way up, marching their way to the line and capitalizing. Well, whether the defense is inviting these shots or not, it's been great in the mid-range. So, producing from there, that bodes well. And here's Harris from the arc. Hands it from downtown. Harris has got the lead up to five now for Brooklyn. And those assist numbers have always been there for Kyrie, spotting an open teammate that time. Master Barrett. Here's Brooks. There's the three. Here's McGee, and that one is good with the extra effort on the glass. McGee's got his second bucket tonight. They are just killing him on the interior. A moment now to hear from our sideline reporter, Hall of Famer, David Alden. David. Thanks, guys. The Nets have tremendous talent, of course, but there have been some challenges. KD says, I know the fans have high expectations for us, but if you're a fan, you'll appreciate Nets basketball and what we're trying to build, and you'll follow us along this journey because you never know what may happen. Kevin, back to you. David, thank you. Fuck, bro. And it goes out of bounds. Last touch by Barrett. I've heard it said, Greg, a coach can't give you confidence, but they can take it away. What's the meaning behind that? Well, players at this level are naturally confident, but when coaches are always... Oh, Joe's seeing it, bro. He is seeing it. Good eye, man. Good fucking eye. Two minutes now played in the second quarter. Out to Harris. Good, and the assist goes to Irving. And now an 11 point Brooklyn lead. Now, this story in the second quarter much different than the one in the first. We're finally seeing some aggression. Outside Fournier. Over to the left wing. And the wide open shot from Reddish. And the Knicks miss again. Harris outside. Let's it go from deep. 
And the Nets, another three. The ball movement on this run has been fantastic and is a big part of why they've been able to get these good looks. New York calls timeout. And as the coaches go to the clipboard to outline their strategy during the timeout, the players getting a chance to rehydrate with some Gatorade. That's key to staying fresh all the way to the final whistle. And, Kevin, it really is. And every one of these players knows it. They're all making sure to stay hydrated. It's impossible to play your A game if you're not getting enough to drink, especially towards the end of games when the physical toll of a long contest really starts to happen. Second quarter of play with almost three minutes gone. Hardaway goes in. Offensive rebound. Brooks outside. Takes it inside. <coughs> and the call on the shot sends him to the line. It's going to be on Kyrie Irving. And what a fearless drive by Brooks going right into the defense there and drawing the foul. Both shots good from the strike. Now about three minutes gone in the second quarter of basketball. Now here's Irving. He's got 14. And Harris wide open. He shoots. Good, and the assist goes to Irving. All these threes they're giving up have really been the driving force on this run. Brooks outside. Kept alive by New York. Randall from outside. That shot is off. Like six others he's attempted tonight, he has but one basket. Hate to say it, but if they're still trailing at the final buzzer, a lot of this is going to be felt by him. His shooting tonight has just been atrocious. Out to Harris. Six on the shot clock. Offline with his three. Knicks trail by 15. Hardaway with a wide open look. Fucking glitchy, man. God damn. That didn't turn into three points. I mean, he makes you pay on those nearly every time. Pass to Claxton. It's rebounded by New York. Man, I thought he was making that in so close. That's some aggressive defense. Well, one thing you can say about JaVale McGee, wherever he goes, success seems to follow. Oh, for sure. Since 2017, he's won multiple rings. He brings great intensity to the court on both ends. Runs the floor and patrols the paint. He's just the kind of big man you want to call on when the team needs it. And after all the drama and wanting out, Kyrie Irving remains a net feels like a bit of a farewell tour but winning can heal all and you never know what the future may hold especially with Kyrie and Brooklyn making a change here guys are looking for a spark here yeah a cold stretch offensively for sure McGee a screen here's Brooks it's Fournier on the wing from deep Simmons pulls it in well, his poor shooting is a big reason that they're staring at this deficit right now he needs to get on track they're gonna find a way to win Knicks trail by 17 pass to Brooks back to Randall fires the three and again it's the Knicks missing the Nets on offense they're on a 19th to what are you doing yo like Fucking guys are so dumb, yo. KD, you just can't let him get a look from the corner. New York takes time out. Knicks on offense. Now Hardaway, he's still scoreless so far in this one. Brooks with the bucket. 
so many different offenses that Tim Hardaway Jr. has played in that he's trying to improve in his on-court awareness. A good show of it there. Steps back. He's off on that one. The Knicks go the other way with it. Outside Fournier. Over in the corner, Randall. And again, New York with the triple. Randall's teammates loving seeing this. Shots like this are helping out this offense. He's taking the lead. Next lead, 44. And the foul called on Tim Hardaway Jr. That's his first foul. First person. Uh, I mean, I like the call. I thought the defense was just there a little late. Now into the lineup for your New York Knicks. Emmanuel quickly. It's the Nets now. They lead by 14. Pass to Simmons. Oh, the top right Three pointer. His first shot is a miss. 0 for 1 to start the contest. Now here's Fournier. New York moving it around. Quickly with it. Guarded now by Durant. Three pointer, Randall. Stymied again with that miss. A subpar 2 for 10 for him. Durant down low. And on the way from moving for three. These guys won't fuck yo. Irving's got seven points for the quarter. And that gets him going here in, in the second after hitting two from long range in that first. Outside Fournier. Down low. It's sent back down by Simmons. Pass to O'Neal. Outside KD. How you let this nigga just. Oh my god. Yeah. And you look at KD just attacking with authority. And here is quickly. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. Now Randall, guarded by KD. And Durant sends it back. Instinct, timing, length. KD, great D. Down low, deflects the pass. Pass to Fournier. And it's quickly in the corner. McGee a screen. And that's a foul. Called on TJ Warren. That is his first foul in the game. And New York making a change here. Now into the lineup for your New York Knicks. There's the drive. And here's Randall. Back to quickly. This one for three. And it's Durant with the rebound. Irving for three. He kept alive. And not a great start for him in the first, but he's quickly starting to turn it around. Knicks trail by 21. Outside Fournier. Pass to Brooks. Quickly with it. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. Sinks the triple. He's going to punish you if you leave him open. He's more than willing to take the open three when he's got it. KD on the wing. Gets that one to fall. That's his sixth field goal. He has shot the ball 12 times. Yeah, and they're shooting really starting to pick up here in the second. Outside Fournier. Pass to Randall. Randall is doubled and stolen by Simmons. You're not. Oh my God! What is the fuck? You got no fucking help on, and these motherfuckers still help. These niggas' fucking IQ is dumb as a box of fucking rocks, man. Way to fucking God, yo! Stupid niggas, man. 
TJ Warren trusts that shot. Trust me, fantastic at shooting with purpose off the pass. That's alliteration. Time call here. The Knicks decide to talk it over. Here's quickly. Brooks outside. Perfect hit. Pass to Randall. Just five to shoot. It's Fournier on the wing. And the next miss again. Solid rebound there. And with the score like it is, that's an area where they can't afford to get lazy. Irving for three. That shot is in, just like six others have been for him. He's shooting seven for 15. It really turned it around here in the second quarter after shooting less than 40% from the field in the first. Back to quickly. Beautiful dish, and the layup goes down. Quickly's got five points in the quarter. Could be top 10 easiest assists that Fournier's had. Now, here is Irvin. 22 points for him. Let's it go with a three. It's rebounded by Quickly. And the great shooters know when they've got enough opening to go for the three. I didn't think it was a bad choice on that possession. Here's Fournier. Looking at his point <laughs> which is almost 11 points a game. I mean, I don't know. Does he look a couple steps slow today? He needs to shake that off and get into the zone and get on the scoreboard. And so Brooks will bring it up for the Knicks. Some tough offensive sets. They want to turn it around. Yeah, right now you just need a bucket to get some momentum. And the coaching staff enjoying that as Randall is becoming a bit more of a facilitator. A double team, KD. Back to Irving. The open shot, KD. And it's good off the back of the rim and in. Durant's got 17 now. Boy, has he put his foot on the pedal here this quarter. He's doing a terrific job in terms of leading their offense. Brooks feeling it out a bit. Pass to Toppin. Over in the corner, Randall. Over Durant. Randall no good. Got it up. And that shot was up in time, but doesn't go in. How about the energy from Fournier on the defensive end? He made a difference that time. And through the first half, a pretty lopsided affair. Brooklyn ahead as they end the second quarter with a massive 16-7 run. And we'll be back right after halftime to get the third quarter underway. Well, we've got a second half of basketball for you. We think it's going to be pretty good. A big comeback, though, is needed for this game to be competitive, and it probably has to happen quickly. Here's New York. Now Hardaway out to Barrett. And there's the whistle. Three-second violation. And that is just a deflating error on his part. Yeah, he knows he shouldn't have made it, and that's just really overall a frustrating sequence that hopefully doesn't stick with him. Outside Irving. Screened by Simmons. KD looking around. Over Hardaway. That one off the back iron and out. Well, Katie's still a net after asking for a trade. The, the team looked, but didn't feel the deal was there. And Durant will continue.
continue to play, but you feel like this story could drag on until the trade deadline or beyond. Out to KD. Back to Simmons. Over in the corner, Warren. And it's good, assisting on the play with Simmons. Three points. Warren's got the first points of the third quarter up on the board for Brooklyn. And here is Hardaway. Still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring hit from him. Pass to Fournier. From deep three-point range. That shot, no good. And Brooklyn will come the other way. The kick out to Warren. So it looks like the Nets will retain. Possession here. And while we've got a moment, let's send it over to our terrific reporter, David Aldridge. David. Thank you, Kevin. Well, Kevin Durant learned an important lesson at age 11. His dad cooked him one-on-one, -on -one, dunking on him and talking trash. Durant started crying, and he locked himself in his room, but he came to realize, what am I so mad at? It's good to be passionate, but channel it. Once you're off the court, leave it and go back to being you. Kevin? Great advice. David, thanks. TJ Warren, good. Nice move towards the basket there. You gave T.J. Warren a little too much room, and he's going to want to score. Pass to Fournier. Barrett with the ball. From deep. Sinks it. What range from outside. Wow. Barrett's got his third bucket of the night. You can't just stop when there's a pick set up. Got to fight over it as a defender. That's one that the coaches will watch tomorrow with that player. You hate to see him give up in that situation. Shot clock at five. Warren. The 19-footer is on the money. Warren's got nine. Hardaway with it. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. Irving with the ball. Hardaway picks him up. Over to the wing. Why are you double teaming him? What the fuck is the nice ball movement by Brooklyn? Yo. Here's Durant. It's rebounded by New York. All the way up top to the paint. Here's McGee. Fade away. Good shot. It's rebounded by Durant. And they're one of four here to start the second half. Second half here. We're just over three and a half minutes into it. Irving, good. Uh, assists like that have typified their effort today. Terrific ball movement. Pass to McGee. Down low. Stolen by Warren. Oh, and here we go. Irving's got it. The fast break chance. They get a hand on it. And stolen by Fournier. Randall outside. That one misses. So Brooklyn will take it the other way. Team starts the second half missing four of five shots. When does the coach possibly call a timeout and reiterate what he talked about at halftime? And another turnover here by Brooklyn. Now a timeout call by Brooklyn.
casual with the ball out there. Yeah, but you can't force that square peg into the round hole. Oftentimes, you just got to make that first simple pass <laughs> and get a rhythm from that. And Greg, just like you, Julius Randle is a southpaw. Left handed. Yeah, and you know, the angles are different for lefties. We operate a little differently. And I think that can throw defenders off. I'll sit here. I'm, gonna I'm always going to pull for the southpaw. And yes, there's been growth in Julius Randle and his game year after year, adding little things. But this big man focuses on playing to his strengths. Now, here's one. Nine points in the game so far. There's the screen. That three off the mark. Here's Randall to the inside. Here's McGee. That's in. Coming off an assist from Randall. McGee's got six points. And no matter what they've tried, the D just has not been able to deny them the ball inside. Left side, Irving. O'Neal from long range. And it's out of bounds. The Knicks will take it the other way. Here, people here. Still in the top. Red armor, red armor. I'll be topping. Difficult situation for New York. Now, Hardaway. Still looking for his first bucket in this one. Right wing. to Barrett. And he drops in the layup off the glass. Barrett's got five points in the quarter. Just a positive force right now for these guys. And though his team has fallen a bit short, it's not because of him. Here's Harris. And here is Warren. Pocket four. Reddish with the double team. Brooklyn needs to get off a shot here. A shot's good from Claxton. Yeah, that's a smart pass as TJ Warren does a solid job finding the open man. Outside Hardaway. Pass to McGee. Back to Hardaway. New York moving the ball around. Reddish with the ball. Looking at his numbers, he averages a bit over nine points a game. Fires the three. Irving with the rebound. Well defended that time. He's a shooter that the D has to close down on quickly when he's ready to pull the trigger. Count it. Good. Warren's got nine points now in just the second half. D has been just completely helpless and turned around. He's so dangerous when he's in this kind of rhythm. Pass to Barrett. No good that time. And Brooklyn will come the other way. And with the success they've had rebounding the basketball, they're right where you'd expect them to be, firmly in the driver's seat. Back to Irving. Let's it go from the wing. It's rebounded by New York. They need a bucket in a big way here to regain some confidence. And the Knicks miss again. Inside. And O'Neal gets it to go. O'Neal's got his second bucket. Uh, I think Kyrie could play not only with the ball, but with a baton right now, orchestrating the offense. Pass to McGee. Now, here's Barrett. He's got nine. Trying to get something going. And here's Reddish. Now here's Hardaway. Oh, drew the foul. Almost hit the three-point bucket. But he'll go to the line to shoot three. It's going to be on Kyrie Irving. And a chance to catch up on some numbers here. The scoring breakdown. For the Nets. Well, I've been impressed with the ball movement all game long. They're really looking to just make that extra pass. 
And there's another thing going on right now for them that has to get their confidence up, and that's the three ball. I mean, it's been falling for them, and they're locked in, and with that outside shot going, that's a big difference maker. Here's KD. Here's Claxton. And good work on the boards, and they pick up the second chance points. Claxton's huh? got four this quarter. Um, it's like two. Two or three. He recognizes it and quickly takes advantage. Well, I know they don't have mobile devices out there for texting, so they might as well talk to one another. Pass to Toppin. Parent for three. It's hauled in by Warren. They have been board dominant in this game. That's definitely been a factor in crafting this huge lead. Harris looking it over. Warren with the ball. Hardaway picks him up. Here's Harris. Outside Curry. And they'll turn it over. Could not get off a shot before second violation. New York with the ball. Outside Hardaway. In the corner, it's Toppin. Yes, and it's Hardaway picking up the assist. Toppin's got his first bucket of the game, and he's on the board for three. Now a timeout call by Brooklyn. Greg, you have to love the impact that Tim Hardaway Jr. has had on the defensive end. He's got a great wingspan to bother shooters and contain penetration. Always aware of where the ball is on the floor. You could call him an underrated defender. Side Warren. Shoot from 14. It's good. Warren's got 13. And he was sitting back a little bit there in the first half, but it feels like showtime now, and he's ready to put some major points up on the board. Toppin can't get it to go. They've shown some strength in the paint today. Their work on the boards has been impressive. And there's a pattern starting to take shape here. They're working it inside and getting good shots from close range. One twenty-nine left in the third quarter. There's the double team with Warren. Five to shoot. Poked away. <laughs> Durant with the steal. Here's Curry with the three. Reddish grabs the rebound. New York with the ball. And it's quickly missing. We'll have a hard time shaking that one off. Perfect position. Plenty of space. Just clanked it. So sinks the three-pointer. And you can't give Harris any breathing room to shoot, especially when he's looking to fire the three ball. Here's quickly. Top it. No one around him. Offensive rebound. They need this. And he lays it up and in. Chapman's got five points in the quarter. That's the kind of pass you want there. Work the ball around. Keep it moving. Try to get an assist on every bucket. At the elbow, it's Reddish. About seven seconds separating the shot and game blocks. Here's KD. He's got 17. 
and pulls it in. Mm. I'm gonna even... Just give him, give him... Alright, bro. I'm just gonna say have him roll one, but... but. And they are shooting lights out with very high accuracy. Back to the action in just a minute. And one quarter to go in a game that to this point has not been an evenly fought contest. Here's Simmons. Brent, we've seen star players continue to angle their way onto what some would call super teams. Uh, is that good or bad for the league? Well, I think at some point that's going to probably play itself out. I mean, every organization, Kevin, quite frankly, is looking for the best talent they can. So if you could pile up three, four, five, you're going to do it. But at some point financially, it just doesn't make sense. So... I think there's going to be a time when you're going to see that dissipate a little bit as teams put themselves together. Oh my god, what are y'all guys are doing, yo? No good from Simmons. And the left side. Makes it off the glass. The strength and the quickness and now the confidence coming along as Randall's able to score. And he commits the... Intentional foul. Yeah, clearly a foul of frustration right there. Time call here. The Knicks decide to talk it over. So both teams making some changes here. Fourth quarter, still young, just over a minute play. Durant. Kevin Durant. Shot is good off the back rim and in. KD's got 19 points. Yeah, he's got to knock that down if you give it to him. Uncompetitive there defensively. The defense also looking defeated. The lack of hustle is driving the coaching staff a little bit batty right now. He takes it in. <laughs> Up and in on the layup. Nice job operating off the dribble for Reddish. A nice consistent part of his game. It's Durant on the wing. And it's in there. And that's 21 points for KD. Another good play. This is how they built the lead, calling on the right guys at the right time. Basketball IQ is something that gets talked about, but 
its importance to a team showing up here, running plays that turn into scores. Picked by Randall. Back at six. Reddish's shot is good. And he's just got such a nice, easy release on the three ball. Reddish not looking rushed. Irving with the bounce pass. Here's KD. Again, the miss by KD. And here's Fournier. He brings it up for the New York Knicks. Pass to Randall. Right side, Fournier. And the media is able to vote on awards like all rookie, but Greg, those awards can end up determining a player's max salary. Any concern there? No doubt there is, but somebody has to decide those awards, right? And no matter who it is, there's always going to be some pushback. So as long as contracts are tied to them, that power will be in someone else's hand. Durant down low. Kevin Durant. Banked in off the glass. Durant's got six in the quarter. KD, one of those guys who will go down on the list of the greatest scores in NBA history. Picked by Randall. To the middle. And he takes it in for the layup off a very nice feed. Pretty much all of their buckets coming from inside the paint now. Fourth quarter of play, and over three and a half minutes have gone by. Pass to KD. A terrific shot on the turnaround. Durant's got 25 points. Well, you like guys who can work that in-between area. Really keeps the defense honest. Oh, man, that is just easy for him out there. At his size, with that kind of touch, that is money. Irving surveying the floor. Nifty move. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. First with no foul. Well, Greg, we're seeing high schoolers now making six figures to play basketball. Irving, I bet you wouldn't have minded that in your time, would you? I tell you what, it beats delivering the newspaper, right? <laughs> it's still fresh and, and developing, but a lot of different opportunities are emerging. And in this era of player movement, Greg, we're seeing guys often pick teams on fit or style of play. When they look at that, what are they looking into? You want to have fun coming to work every day, Kevin. I mean, the, the money they're making, most guys are going to be set for life. But I think they recognize it's about the journey and who you have the opportunity to take that journey with. You need it? Oh, yeah, yeah. Fuck it. Yeah, I did text my shit up. Hold this shit up with a stale blunt. And the first one at the line is good. And Brooklyn making a change here. That one misses. Plus eight in the rebound differential. One more reason why they're in control. And here is Curry. Up top, Warren. And the refs are going to rule that unnecessary contact. It's a flagrant one foul. Boy, a, a very hard foul that time, and, and the officials had to slap him with the flagrant. I mean, you can't let him get away with that kind of contact. Yeah, gee, that's an easy call for the officials to make when there's that much contact. The league is really cracking down on those sort of plays. The leadership of the NBA Players Association, Greg, has said they support expansion. And two cities, which seem to be the leading candidates, Seattle and Las Vegas. What do you think? Yeah, well, I love both. Had the good fortune of playing in both cities, and I'd love to see a team in my hometown. But bottom line, more teams means more jobs, and that's the sentiment I think most can get behind. Here's Grimes. Over in the corner, Reddish. A three-pointer is right on target. Get back off of Reddish. He's going to let it rip. Out 
outside Curry. Here's the screen. Outside Warren. Plenty of space. Again, the miss by Warren. I didn't see that miss coming. I mean, he's usually been money from that range. Driving to the basket. Pass to Reddish. Fires for three. Brooklyn with the rebound. Outside Warren. Drives to the hoop. Slides through for his seventh basket in 11 tries. And what a turnaround from the first half. I mean, he's been incredible here in the second half. Outside Green. Rumors continue to fly about possible league expansion. Brent, any cities you'd like to see join the league? Oh, man, there's, there's a lot of great options out there, Kevin. But I would like to see the league go to 32 and have 16 in each conference. I think that would be great. And there's a city in the Pacific Northwest that deserves a team. And I think you know where I'm talking about. Seattle. Warren with the ball. Outside Thomas. And he can't answer back. The three-pointer off line. Pass to Reddish. Back to Brooks. New York moving it around. The train. And again, New York with the triple. Their third three-pointer. Timeout called the Nets. Nets leading by 23. Now here's Curry. Greg, you think of everything that goes into making it to the NBA as a player. Did it come easy for you, or was it all work? It's easy, really. 
to overlook the grind, but when you love the game, all those hours in the lab don't feel quite like work. At least not until you start getting a little longer in the two. That free throw, no good. Good on the second free throw. And good job bringing that free throw percentage up here in the second half. Doing a great job at the line. Now Hardaway. Inside. Laid in with a nice touch off the glass. And it's getting laid guys, but all of a sudden they have hope. When just a little while ago, it looked like hope was lost. to Warren. They set the pick. Back to Curry. Shot clock at six. Randall brings the double team. And here is Harris. And the Nets miss again. Brooks left side. Even with the ratings going strong, the younger generations often court cut. How does the NBA engage? Wait, you fucking switch the guy? God damn. Action trend on social media and when big moments happen for uh, maybe a small fee, allow people to be a part of it. It's like highlights, but live. Curry outside. And that one is off. Now the next take it the other way. Here is Hardaway. From past the arc. And again, New York with the triple. Tim Hardaway Jr., you can see he's got good foundational form for a three-point shot. Consistency would help. The kick out to Warren. Thomas with it. He's picked up by Brooks. A three from Warren. And they'll get another chance. Outside Curry. to Claxton and the dunk to finish it off a oh, beauty he does that so well at his size he's always a threat to throw it down here's Hardaway Al Fournier out to the right wing to the paint and Thomas over to help Brooks misses. Well, that's how to protect the rim without fouling. Force him into an awkward release and a bit of an adjustment on the layup. The kick out to Warren. For three, Harris. It's good from long range. Harris has got 21 in the game. And, you know, over time, we've seen Harris become much more assertive. Have to respect how much he believes in his jump shot. away with it. Back to Fournier. That's the free fly. It's hauled in by Claxton. And he didn't punish them for the weak coverage there, but they can count on him to continue missing. Well, guys, this was never really a contest. Just a total obliteration, if you will. And you can safely say mission accomplished now for Brooklyn. You don't see this kind of a blowout often. But tonight, this is a quality win across the board to deliver out uh, this kind of punishment. They definitely never changed the approach. Uh, they just kept after it and showed they were clearly the better team in just about every single category. And with this effort tonight, grabbing their eighth win of the year. And with this win, it gives them a sweep of the season series, even though it's just a brief two games. And one of the league's top talents, game in and game out. And doing it here again in this one. A terrific night for Kevin Durant. He did it all tonight, making an impact with more than just his scoring. How about the fact that he got a triple-double? Now here's Curry. And 
so it's Brooklyn easily grabbing this one. A resounding victory for them and Greg in enemy territory, no less. That's exactly right, but with the way they control the game and, and just completely... What's... 